Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we have a Ghost of Antietam event for you. The first map here is Bloody Lane. You see an overview of that right now. Followed up by our second round, which is the Roulette Lane. So we got the lanes battle tonight. Haven't seen this in a while, but it should be great to see. Thank you to our Patreon members for the support. If you like the support, go to the link in the description where you can get live streams of all the broadcasts we do. You can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover with no commentary and UI. So with that being said, let's get to our teams for today. On the CSA side, you got the 7th Louisiana, 20th Georgia, 7th South Carolina Archers Brigade, and the 27th Virginia. I'm pretty sure 1st Ohio swapped over to the CSA side along with 2nd U.S., who's part of 5th Corps. But on the Union side, we got 5th Corps, 4th New Jersey, 3rd United States Horse Artillery, and the Midwest Brigade. So with that being said, here we go with our round uh, CSA uh, frontline view, which is on the top left of your screen, is from Kramer here. So we can see what he's, or Twister, sorry. Kramer, I was dealing him, but Twister from 7th LA is helping me. I'm very appreciative of that. And then we have uh, Snow Cactus from the Union perspective from the 65th Illinois. Pretty appreciative of both of them. Server count today is 280. Numbers dead even. That balancing really did work. Confederates having 18 guys though on artillery. So really infantry wise we have a 20 man in balance right now which is a little huge by the way. So also co-commentating with me is uh, Cough and Kill today. He is off uh, doing something and he will be back at some point but for now I'll just uh, kind of carry this along. So Union's got the buck and ball on this map with the Irish Volunteer Brigade, the 69th New York more particularly. And Union strategy is as follows. Charge down the left, break in them, and then sweep around the side. Obviously, you do have small Union groups going to the right, uh, and they're more of a harassing force. Maybe The biggest thing Union is just trying to get around the flank of both sides. Um, that's what they're trying to do. So a lot of these CSA shots are just not hitting. Why are the Union guys sitting in the middle of the way? Uh, hey, that makes no sense. But Union swarming in here. You do have some Confederates holding out on the flank side here. 20th Georgia holding there. But Union numbers are just outnumbering the 14th, 7th Tennessees. Along with 20. Oh my goodness. You can just see the devastation of that buck and ball volley on the Archer Brigade guys that are here. And that's the thing with these defensive maps is... Generally, you'll see defenders at the beginning of the rounds on most maps spread out to cover the entire line because you don't want the attacking team to kind of break through at any point because if they get behind you, it's kind of like, uh-oh, it's pretty bad. But on Bloody Lane especially, CSA cannot lose this side because what happens is although the Union team can't go too far into corn because it's out of bounds for them, they can ride the edge of this fence line and use the corn as cover and just completely run through the flank of the CSA line here and the Union in one push here just took the corner spot um, which is very effective on their part so uh, with that all being said Coffin Kill is here with us would you like to introduce yourself hello I am Coffin Kill from the first Maryland I'm the colonel and uh, thank you Mr. Eagle for inviting me to spectate tonight yeah, I appreciate you wanting to uh, come back on again uh, it's good so uh, Union really just pushing down that left side of the bloody lane and just killing all the Confederates there there weren't much of an effort and again Confederates you can't do that I mean you do have a couple Union groups on this right side right now uh, third USHA fourth New Jersey Midwest Brigade and they're just kind of taking shots, harassing, not really doing a whole lot in terms of ticket loss. But it distracted a lot of the CSA, which let the Union kind of overwhelm them on this left, which is what they're doing right now. 20th Georgia is getting completely blown back. Yeah, they're retreating. And uh, just the domination is kind of reflected in the tickets already. And CSA is not down a lot, but that's going to start going. Usually... When we play, we go, all of us go right side, so it's uh, kind of cool that we're actually sp splitting up this time, pincering them, uh, so very, very good to see. Yeah, it's really fascinating, because when I first got the game in 2020, the meta was really, 
at least from everything I've seen, is Union just push that left side as we saw in this match here and just take that corner and just flank the CSA and win. And over time, as the server pop has increased, I don't know if the CSA have buck and ball or not, but especially as the server size has increased, CSA has been able to hold that corner a lot better. So we've seen Union go right, as you were just mentioning, cough and kill with those strategies. But uh, it appears CSA overreacted and just the <laughs> Union just rolled in there. Can you like I wonder when the Union is going to start pushing towards point. Because as soon as the groups in the road start pushing, the people up on the hill to the north need to start pushing down. Open as soon as I talk, they're moving. Look yeah. at them. And they should be able to see it too. They don't have a steam chat in the event. I mean, they can't communicate over a voice call, but the Union on top of the hill to the north should be able to see that and uh, hold down. Um, as the Union slowly inching their way down the fence line, CSA is trying to retake this uh, Union left side, CSA right. Sometimes you see this, when Union push to the point from this left side, the CSA will run up and kind of take back this side. Um, that's kind of more of a turtle position, obviously not so much right now with the Union being so close. But CSA is very spread out right now and that is not looking good for them. Sometimes seven Tennessee guys are trying to get some nice shots on eighth Connecticut, but all but one man endures. Never mind, he dies. <laughs> he is dead. He just he got hit by bucket ball, his body rag dog. This is one of my favorite maps. Not my favorite, but one of the favorites. Um it's probably one of my favorite maps. Uh, I would agree with that. It's so much fun. Midwest Brigade. My favorite map. Oh, yeah. go ahead. My bad. <laughs> you go. You go. I, it's my fine. favorite map is Nico Hill. I know a lot of people hate it. Oh, speaking about moving down the hill. Union's moving. Take that right hand side. Yeah, Union's just dominating this whole match. Are they charging in the center of 4th New Jersey? Are they charging? It looks like it. Oh, yeah. And 3rd uh, Horse Artillery to the right of them. Taking those rocks. Looking good. So, yes, they fall back right away. Trying to preserve the tickets, but with how badly it's going for them. I don't know. If 8th Connecticut knew that they charged down the hill, I think they would start... Never mind, I spoke <laughs> way too soon. Here they go. He knows the script. <laughs> he knows the script. So I was on page four. We're at page five. I do apologize. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be great. Eighth Connecticut with the buck and ball that they have. That's just going to be a lot of... Buck and ball, if you don't know, it's a shotgun, basically. You're shooting off at four or five pellets. One big one, the rest are tiny ones. But they all kill. Um, and... That charge is pretty close. If the Union collapsed, they could pinch. But same with the CSA. Looks like 7th LA. CSA is charging right. behind them. Yeah, they're pinching that. And yeah, Union connected. needs to get out of there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, good timing from CSA. We, but we still got these two groups to the right side. They're pushing up now towards the fence. A little late, but... These guys don't have buck and ball. And there you go. CSA got to engage. So, when you said Nico was your favorite map, do you like it from the Union or the CSA perspective? Union. Okay, I figured. I like it. I like it CSA as well. Uh, one time I led on the CSA side, and I don't understand how CSA could lose that map. Quite honestly, like that it. Buck and ball with a sharp, uh, sharps rifle and pistol combo. It's kind of crazy, and that artillery position is amazing. So yeah, but yeah, I I knew back in the day at least when uh it was server was lower pop. It was a pretty even map, but as server pop has gone up, CSA with all that gun power and the nice defensive position they have can either defend it. Um, 
Yeah, they really just can defend it. They just can sit up on the, the right side on top of that hill. The CSD is leaving their flag behind. I always see this white flag. Uh, it seems like every event I see a white flag like that. Uh, is it 20th uh, Georgia's Hager? You're talking about that one? Yeah, that white, like, I don't know if it's the same white flag every time, but every event I play, it seems like the CSD has one white flag on their team, so. I don't know if I've ever deeply looked at a white flag in this game before. I don't recall ever seeing this flag. I will say, the flags are beautiful, but please give me more maps. Please. I think... <laughs> I know they can make maps because when Conquest and Contention came out, they released new maps for them. They used the existing map packs and just did new boundaries. They can do the same thing with Skirmish. Release one map a month. Surely that can't be too hard. And then balance it over time. Obviously it's not going to be perfect. One map a month seems kind of... kind of eh. I agree, but, but for the pace that they're at right now, it would be incredible. Yeah. I definitely think they need need new maps, and I also saw that they're adding. Well, I'll speak after this charge here. CSA is charging yeah. the Union. First IV, mostly here. I'm taking a phone call. Hold on, give me. And fourth New Jersey is really the only ones up. Actually, never mind. You got the third USHA with Midwest Brigade behind them. Union fifth course holding really strong on that left. No surprise with the buck and ball that they have. But it does look like Fourth New Jersey is gonna hold they that. You got Luigi. Fourth New Jersey's just taking these hits and just letting Luigi let it rip. Fucking pussy, get out of here! Fuck you! How do you get that? Fuck you! Fuck you! Hey, Billy! Bitch boy! So, if I guess Fort New Jersey does get pushed out, we're heading back to the other side of the map. I really don't like this maneuver by the 14th and the 7th. Get back in the corner. The problem is, is that there's, there's only, what, 15 of these guys here? Which isn't a lot when you consider how many guys 5th Corps is bringing. Like, if we just look at this, 44 here, 54 here. Like, that's over 100 guys against your 15 to 20. And they have buck and ball. I don't know if CSA has buck and ball, but that's besides the point. When they have 100 dudes shooting shotguns at you, you're not going to win that fight. When they outnumber you 5 to 1. It's just not going to happen. So this is going to be a huge ticket drain on the CSA. So, CSA is spending a lot of their resources on this left center side near point. And frankly, I mean, if 5th Corps turns and hits the point, they're going to slaughter everybody there. Because that just is what is going to happen. I mean, server pop, again, it's dead even. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like the Union is destroying the CSA. And I mean, that's even reflected by the ticket amounts. It's almost a whole morale stage difference. And it's really only been 12, 11, 12 minutes since the fighting's begun. Because remember, it's, they start at 42, and then it's about a minute or so before they really started charging, so. The Union's playing this as they should. Uh, CSA really should have guarded their right side more. Um, you, you just can't let the Union do this, you just can't. Get back I mean, what do we got? First South Carolina. I mean, same thing with these. Like, what is this going to accomplish? In in this day and age, the blob meta is the way to go. Obviously, when you have more men, you're going to have better chances of winning. But the problem now more than ever before is that with the 5 second flag response compared to 10, which is what they used to be, I know I keep bringing it up and I know this happened... A long time ago this changed a couple months ago but the impacts of it are very huge on how to play the game that was a good volley I got about three or four yeah, but uh, Union's gonna probably hit back but when you have these guys spawning in at double the rate it's gonna be near impossible to shoot somebody out of a position 
It's going to be near impossible. So, blobbing is more important now than ever, especially when you're on defense, yep, especially when you have less counter. tickets, They're which is what the defenders have. And th this can't happen for CSA, to be frank. I mean, fifth course playing this perfectly. If the CSA is going to keep sending little groups at you, stay there and just keep shooting them down, bringing them, bringing them down. I mean, uh, we're almost yeah. at a whole morale stage difference. It's uh, absolutely crazy. You see him on the fence there. Yeah, I see him. Union on the right side, kind of holding up these rocks. I mean, look how many CSA are focused Chase, on Sprint, this March. little Union group here. Oh! Uh, compared to this side of the map. I mean, this is just not a recipe for success. Granted, this map is a Union biased map. But it's most certainly possible for CSA to hold these charges on the left. I've seen it many times before. Um, but CSA did not have adequate manpower, and frankly, the guys that were there, they missed a lot of those shots at the the start, based on what I was looking at, so. You have some fifth core guys starting to focus towards the point, and Union on the right falling back. And at this point of the match, the only way CSA has an adequate, ch why are we running across the middle of the open field? You're going to probably lose your flag and waste a bunch of tickets. Frankly, it doesn't matter. Union hits engaged, but... There we go. Fifth core turning towards the point. A good chunk of them. Eighth Connecticut, it looks like. And CSA is going to go down the taking losses. If they cap the point, I'm not going to like that decision. Just because the rate at which you've been pushing the CSA down, there's no point in capping the point. Just wait it out a little longer, knock them down to breaking. You do good. There's some CSA guys charging. Why are you charging this? Heath is by themselves, too. This is not looking good. <laughs> I hope you doesn't Excuse cap. Me. I mean, it's not bad, because Union will probably hold it, probably, but still, it's like, there's no need to do it, especially when you're this far ahead. You don't want to give the CSA a chance to regain a whole morale stage. And 8th Connecticut's kind of keeping up that pressure, charging it a little more, but I think Union's going to cap the point. So... I mean, capping the point's not bad. It's just highly risky when you're up by over a whole morale stage. I don't... Oh, they're trying to pull off, but it's way too late. It's way too late. That... That was... I saw that from a mile away. That was fairly obvious. And they're moving r out right away. They're just going to take the point. Yeah. So they're going to be at... Engaged, probably. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, Union might as well just try to hold it at this point. Maybe. But they. Oh no, we'll 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 keep an eye out. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I mean, it would take roughly four, five, six minutes for the Union to knock the CSA down to taking loss or breaking anyway. So. They might as well just hold it. And if anything, you don't want CSA going back to up to engage with 25 minutes left on that clock. You want to bring everybody's tickets down. Um, just so CSA is not at um, engaged with 25 minutes left. Granted, even then, Union probably still going to win this map. Just because of the dominating position the Union has. Union at this point, if they do lose it... They just cannot lose their flags down by the lane. and they Union's get... also charging right-hand side, so... Ah, uh, yes, they are. Loaded. Should get a nice flag here. Fourth New Jersey, third USHA. That Midwest Brigade's kind of going out the center of the field, but... Some CSA trying to push up again. This group, 14th side of Tennessee. Again. They're up on this uh, up left side success. again. Union left. They're just running out, taking shots. It looks like they do a bucket ball, too. Right right. Maryland let's over here on the fence. Knock that flag down. Knock that flag down. Shut up. Oh, that's right. Come on, David. Come on, buddy. Down, 
Union really, yeah, they went real far up on this right side. Fourth New Jersey is engaging with the second U.S. Guys there, and I mean, Union's kind of swept on this right side, and CSA numbers are dwindling. Sorry, my uncle called me. You're good. I am back. So, I was mistaken. The CSA just absolutely crumbled. Um... <laughs> This feels like Union's up by 30, 40 guys when the numbers are yeah, yeah. perfectly balanced. CSA actually has one more guy. But something to consider, though, is CSA has 21 guys on artillery, um, which is a big imbalance in infantry numbers. And frankly, I have that? not seen 20. I have not seen uh, artillery uh, being justified with 20 men right now. Eagle thinks battery lives do not matter. You heard it's it. official. It, I mean, my statement towards our, my opinion of artillery is actually uh, <laughs> been nice. My opinion has never changed. <laughs> it has never changed. I am completely the same person. I never. <laughs> <laughs> my my original position on artillery was that no one should ever go on it, and it's kind of evolved to artillery is good for knocking people over. Uh, suppressing the crap out of them, making them scared, like morale-wise, uh, kind of getting a reaction, but it's really bad at getting kills. Um, oh, especially like, I know the our events doesn't have Steam Chat or anything like that, but if they we had Steam Chat, and I was an attacker, I'd be like, hey, we are going at 24 minutes, so bombard the shit out of that point at 24 minutes. So by the time we get there, there's like. 15 guys on the ground and you just murder them. Right. So. And the unfortunate thing is I don't think I've ever seen that consistently. I don't think I've seen it more than 10 times in, ever since I've broadcasted. Like, artillery, infantry communication is pretty poor even in events with Steam Chats because uh, looks like some CSA 20th George is charging out by themselves, which again, it's going to be hard for CSA to counterattack because with the no Steam Chat, right? But... Um, but the thing is, is a lot of the other events I watch, you'll have, you have a lot of groups on infantry in the first place, and then you'll have two to three groups on artillery, and you got to get everyone to agree, and that can just be a very hard thing to do. Um, yeah. So, doesn't happen as much as what I would hope, but. I've only seen it a couple times in this, uh, especially since we don't have communication with artillery, so it's very rare, but when you do it, it is such a great, it makes you feel something inside, I don't know. So I, I agree, it's beautiful. So some CSA doing a brunt charge, a minute 40 left on a gold timer. Union's gonna win that, CSA trickling in very slow, but and their groups are not together as well. Um, can see what some of the CSA is seeing down there. With the twist he's getting a lot of stabs off for some reason. He's what? Uh, is the CSA gonna win this? I uh, know. Uh, the rest of fifth core is I, moving in. I right think now. they're going to win the charge, but here comes first Maryland on the side of them. Wow, they won that charge. That's actually surprising. I did not think they were gonna win that. Actually, never mind. They did not win that charge. I lied. Uh, it's always hard to tell sometimes if the side's gonna win or not. But. Yeah, we're sure. Ooh, that artillery piece hitting the road. <laughs> Consequential. That road has a new dent in it. <laughs> Thirty seconds left yeah. on that clock. Um, I think it is safe to say that the Union has won this match. Good job, both teams. I know you're kind of in and out, but do you have any thoughts uh, for this first round? Uh, it just feels like here recently it's just getting harder and harder for the CSA to win this map. So I will, I will consider this a Union-sided map. So, but either way, they did, they did pretty good. Uh, for 
that being the case. So, good job, CSA. Good job, Union. Union, uh, you did what you're supposed to do, and you won the match. So, congrats. Indeed. Um, yeah, no, CSA, you can't let Union run down with 100 guys with a buck and ball on your right and just sweep that up. I mean, once that happened, for me, that pretty much solidified the round. CSA just looked disorganized. I don't think they should add 20 guys on artillery. Uh, did not seem justified any sorts in my mind. Um, but regardless, Union played that pretty dang well. I liked what Union did a lot. It's at CSA, you just can't lose that, right? And they did. Yeah. But, now, the Union next map, I think the next map is a lot more balanced, I'd say. So, we'll see how it goes. Indeed. So, with that all being said, uh, we will see you shortly for round number two in the opposite lane, Roulette Lane. Yes, sir. Alrighty, here we are with round number two, 280 server right now. Union having 17 on artillery. It's in a much better position than the CSA artillery that we saw last round. But generally, from what I see from CSA is you'll have CSA blob up down this left side and kind of charge right at this Union defensive line. Because from what I've seen, whenever Union breaks on this stone wall or snake fence, this kind of L position that they're holding, if they lose any of that, they just kind of lose the game. Uh, similar to last round, but CSA switching up left. You do have someone from the Union that pushed like six guys forward. I don't know why, but and you have Union behind. Yeah, I, I don't I don't get this. Unless they're gonna volley once and go back, I don't get holding so far forward when you're defending like this. But I mean, what do you what do you think strategy wise, Coffin? Uh, I always just liked hanging out in the snake row fence back here. Um, just make an L shape, you know, two regiments near the stone wall, two regiments on the snake row fence, have communication down the line, if they're charging snake row fence, get the boys from the bottom of the hill up the hill, if they're charging the stone wall, get the union from the top of the hill down the hill, so, yep. it's a tried and true method on this map, but I just figured they just wanted to try something different, so... Perhaps. Well, like and they did punished. not get severely punished for it, so that is a good thing. That's very good, especially the, the risk was a little high there, but hey, they did it. So, again, Union's kind of forming up this defense position. TSA's charging the center. Only one group is, though. It's uh, 14th Tennessee, Bill up front. And I don't know how Bill didn't die, but 4th New Jersey missed a lot. I don't know how... Only one guy died the there. I know. That's actually crazy. That was a bad volley. Fence, boys, and I don't know. How are they holding the corner? Union needs to start shifting. Yep, there they go. Yeah, they weren't going to last long, but it's kind of like, what the heck? Put them down, boys! Put them all down! Like the guys got teams. Bill somehow made it alive. Someone shoot Bill, please. Oh, he's gonna live. It's all right. Hey, hey, oh, it wasn't bad. I mean, Union's down a sliver of tickets already, but what's been interesting is um, apparently I've been told the strategy has come out of pubs and they've started using it in some regimental events. Is the Union using their caissons and artillery will build a big wall facing the snake fence? And they'll just hold all their guys there. They won't even hold like the stone wall, the snake fence. They'll just hold on this little makeshift wall they make. Um, and it has varying degrees of success. Obviously, if the CSA holds it, it's not good for Union. They probably lose the match. But I actually, when they first started doing that, I was actually leading that match. I don't like it because you're just giving the CSA the snake row fence and. Uh, I don't know, because the wall seems to be coming back way back here where Spade is right now. Like, it's pretty far from the point in the snake row fence, so. I would agree. I, I, just, like, I just like holding the snake row fence, in my opinion, but, you know. I know there's new metas going around because things get old and boring, but sometimes you just need to do the simple 
stuff that works so in order to win. Indeed. I would agree. Union can't. The the one time I saw that kind of fort. What is this charge from CSA? Um, they just got completely shot up. They can't go in one on one. And speaking of not going in one on one, looking at the center, Bill's leading this charge, and he finally he's finally dead. dead. <laughs> he's yep. finally dead. I think this is three minutes, three minutes. There's three only officers here with this charge. So this is a substantial attack. The union needs to start bringing more people in if they want to hold it. Union's trickling. Fucking Rambo, what are you doing, bitch? Yeah. Oh, some union guys, guys are still. Some union guys are starting to hold on that stone wall, but it's not enough. Union's starting to go up and over on the right. If Connecticut is trying to get around that stone wall, some union shooting in from main spawn. Regardless of if CSA win, just look at the ticket count. Everyone's going down. Great for CSA. You have some CSA holding in the woods. CSA respawns. They held their flags back. They're starting to run up. Yeah, if they don't take this road, the stone wall here soon, it might be devastating for the Union. No, you gotta I think these groups me. to the uh, no, west side, southwest me, side, need to just me. push in. No, I, I don't no. want it. I don't want to do that to you. Here, I don't here, want to kill here, you. Here, 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 here. Point. Seriously, that's what I am. Yeah, yeah, could, here, you know what? I could you know run what? your line and kill all 50 guys right now, but I'm just a nice guy. I'm a pacifist, let me tell you. You know what? You know what? There's only like one. You know what? Just kill me. Come up here and just kill me. No, no, that's fine. I don't My need favorite you know, private captain, Mr. Jag. Talking to the CSA. Left. Hello? CSA's still and down here somewhere. Boom! Got him. Wow, Jag, what a warrior. What a, Shot what a and fell back. That's crazy. Union respawn <laughs> slamming in. Both sides kind of holding their flags back. So both sides are kind of trickling in, guys, which is really great for the CSA. Everyone's tickets are going down at an incredible yeah, rate. And CSA's ahead, uh, which is just the cherry on top for them. But, Union's finally going to take back the corner, Yeah, it looks like. Mostly just because CSA weren't bringing the flags up. and um, Good or bad doesn't matter. Uh, what we do know, though, is CSA's in a great spot. So they wanted to preserve the flags. They kept them back. You can argue both ways if that was a good or bad idea, but CSA's in a great spot nonetheless. There's still one CSA guy. Never mind. I don't know why there's a flag there. When the CSA is now charging the hill east side. And there's not a lot of union up here, so... I think the charge might work. If they... I don't know. Union will surely. Union will eventually be able to react, but if they would have done this like two, three minutes ago, they could have swept up behind the Union and got their flags. It would have been a lot more deadly, but nonetheless. Oh, there's a lot more CSA there than what I thought. More CSA come from the Union. I think whoever's. Whoever third horse artillery, I think, needs to move to that corner position now. Um, with the guns? No, with their muskets. They're the group in here at the trees to the southwest. Oh, okay. The I point. they were the artillery, which is why. They usually are. I don't know why they aren't tonight, but oh. I think they need to move towards that position now. Yeah. Cause now it's wide open. Some of the last round, the unions got a lot of CSA. You got CSA approaching the center. I will say, the last time I watched Roulette Lane with Ghost of Antietam, the CSA just sat back the whole round and shot for 35 minutes. And I don't remember who won, but it was very close, if not a union win. This is much better strategy for CSA. Um, 
and it's just showing based on the ticket amount with how much time we have left. It's going very well for CSA. They've taken that stone wall now as Union's distracted with the guys on top of the hill. CSA are probably going to lose this flag. Falling on the fence, falling on the fence. Uh, I'm not an officer. I'm an NCO. Oh, man. Both sides down to engage now. CSA. These guys are not dead over here on the hill. I'm surprised. I am very surprised. There's so many Union guys there, and like six, seven CSA guys. They gotta get the. Oh, they almost get the flag out. I they they might be able to. Now, Tech's gotta turn around and protect his flag, but I get why. Uh, he might pull off. No way to get that flag out. Okay, gotcha. TSC is gonna cap the point here. Oh my god, these shots, great shots. The CSA is charging the artillery now. Yeah, 14th Tennessee is. CSA cap. I, I think they should have stayed behind in my opinion, but... This is... <laughs> Who is that artillery commander? Spade? Good six shooter. That was great. Union not CSA is pushing up on the hill. 20th Georgia is pushing up the hill. The CSA. Yep. I don't know why they pushed up the hill. I think they should try and hold the stone wall. Maybe they're trying to get firm control of the map and get the Union's charging down the hill now. CSA flag. CSA flag is gonna die. Yep. Twentieth Georgia gone, down a flag. Actually, two. So flags. now you got, yeah, two CSA flags are now down. So, and the Union is charging both sides of the fence. I I think they will retake this point. I think the CSA needed to just stay down near the stone wall, not push up. Um, but you know. Is what it is. CSA down another flag. It is. <laughs> and Union's gonna retake this. They're gonna regain about three like flags down. Stage. That's crazy. Special K from first LEB. Ghostbuster Frog. They're trying to run out to get the flag. Never mind. They're shooting. Do not shoot, buddy. Your rimp. Oh. Okay, you died. It is what it is. Yes. Oh, we got Phantom. Hiding behind the bush. Phantom hiding in the shadows. Look at him. I think he's deciding what he wants to do. Oh, he's trying to get that flag. It's going to be crazy if he somehow gets the flag. Got like four Union guys running out towards the woods right now from the 65th. This is fascinating. Oh, they're shooting at us. No cactus is dead. <laughs> I don't know why they ran out there. And Pancake is the only one who's left. Granted, they're going to regain these tickets in a second, but... Interesting. So Union retake the point. Black timer continuing. Union regaining up to the percentage of tickets that CSA is at. So same percentage, but CSA still got more overall. Pancake is now hiding in a bush. <laughs> poor man, poor man. The auntie runs back and gets team killed. It's pretty high. I'd put five dollars on that. <laughs> no, but the CSA with these three flags is going to be very hard. Well, of course, they'll re respawn here in like a couple more minutes, but. First what am I talking about? The, this map is so, like, small. Like, flags kind of matter, but, you know, right. only if you're going to hold that point. Fourth New Jersey 
rising up and only getting like two, three kills on that bio. They save one of those flags. CSA oh, gets shot. Never mind. But someone else picks it up. CSA is going to hold this corner again. Union Artillery has really kind of destroyed the stone wall. Holy cow. Union moving down the hill. No one can defeat me. I am the sword man. Go, go, go. Oh, fuck. I wonder if the destroyed stone wall would be better for the Union or CSA, but... Because that counter charge was pretty, pretty effective since that stone wall is destroyed. It's probably better for the Union because CSA generally like to hold there when they're trying to take the point or contest it, which is what we've seen most of this round. It's not like we see, we don't really see the CSA direct charge the stone wall from like the orchard. So Union never really holds that stone wall. If Union hold the stone wall, if anything, it's on the left side when they fight this, the, uh, the kind of brown little cabin there. Yeah. So I think, I think destroying that wall is probably better for the Union. If you come over here to the lake, uh, Lee the Thessal is uh, taking a little swim. Did he walk across the whole thing? Or... <laughs> I think so. I don't know, That's but I just long. saw him. I don't know if you can drown in that or not. Huh. Some CSA got through the Union left, 14th Tennessee, uh, but there's only two you of them left. They're really... just talking on point. Jeff right. is with... Uh, Sin. That's how you even spread it. Oh. Oh. Draw's friend just died. He's running away. And he's dead as well. Oh, oh come hey, on now. How's it going? I love these interactions hey, with just random people, just one on one conversations well, from the you, union. We won't shoot you. And CSA. Oh, Very really funny. Now. Indeed they are. Make me look like an animal. And Union's up on tickets right now. Such a strong start from CSA. The um the cap was okay. The biggest thing was losing their flags, which it looks like they've despawned at this point. Yeah, they should be respawning any second now. Or oh they already respawned. One of them. Oh, yep, yeah, they're just coming out of main right now. Uh, CSA charging that center again, Union Artillery. Ooh. See, that's good timing from Artillery because it might not have gotten a whole lot of kills. It may have, I don't know. But look how spread out the start of this wave is because a lot of them got knocked down uh, or suppressed. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna come in your socks. I'm gonna come in your socks. Now the Union's moving down the hill. I think they're just gonna. I think they're gonna hold it. Permission to load. That's just hard. You don't Got two yes, flags there. Down the taking losses. Here they come! Do not run! Do not run! CSA's not bringing those flags up. Union's gonna win this just purely off the fact that they have two flags. Back off the fence, boys! I would, I would think. But the Union flags are down. To the east wall, to the east wall. Get the flags, get the flags up! Oh! Great shot by Union already. That killed like three or four of them. Knocking down the others. That was good. CSA charging up the top, but it ain't gonna work. Union's there this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Union's still not at taking losses. Thank you, Dabber. Retreat, CSA. Pan Pancake ran out of the bush. Union, union. Did he make it back? He made it. Holy oh. fuck. <laughs> Did he get team killed? I don't know if Pinky got. Yes, he did. Yeah. Oh my God, my whiskey, Richard. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was right next to the line too. Dude, he stood in that bush for like five minutes just to die by a teammate. Come on. Oh shit, breaking hips. If I was him, I would haunt his family for the rest of their days. I haven't seen that. And. Now, CSA is starting to play a little poor. I like the aggression, but uh, outside of Union Artillery forcing the separation of the initial charge we just saw, 
Uh, we've seen a lot of smaller CSA groups kind of charge in, and then they get spread out, die and skirmishing out of line. And obviously, it's going to be very hard to communicate, especially without a steam chat. But just look at the tickets. You just can't have this kind of stuff happen. To be honest with you, but they were shooting over at the guys coming out of the house. Oh yeah. This is the first time I'm seeing Fourth Texas on the battlefield. It's interesting. First LAP just sent like five, six guys up. Here comes another one, and they're just dying out of line. Is my brother playing tonight? He is playing tonight. <laughs> Ain't no way. He is in the first LAB. He's a first sergeant. So, shout out Kiowa. Okay, well, we'll see you later. We'll see you at court. Hey, 19th, 4, 24, 30. We're going. 4, 24, 30? What the hell does that mean? I don't, that's what I heard. <laughs> It looks like 2430 is the charge time. I don't know what the four initially stood for. Maybe I misheard it. But uh, 14th yeah, Tennessee is going in. Or maybe he was saying 14th at 2430. I don't third know. Time. Probably, yeah. Bill said they're not going to suspect another charge for the third time. So, um, shift to the left, shift to the left. Never, never, never. So, here's a classic example of communication not always being there you can see the CSA charging in the distance up the hill the thing was is they charged in a little late because the runner was not given enough time to go give the orders which it looks like the charge is still gonna work out just because a lot of the Union stayed up on top of the hill distracted so 8th Connecticut Cavs kind of holding back Midwest Brigade's not going to the corner you have a lot of Union groups just not engaged in the melee area uh, which is allowing CSA to at least hold tickets still really in favor of Union. Union hold on top of the hill. Well, I'm looking at the tickets. I'm surprised Union is up by this many, to be honest. Like, I hate you too. I am as well. Uh, CSA's kind of been throwing away tickets for the past five, ten minutes. More with the no. groups going off. The Union who held that charge up on the hill needs to start making their way down. And, uh... Oh, fuck. Well... I, I don't think you can let the CSA sit there. Um, no. Surely, though, they're just going to keep respawning guys. The respawns for CSA behind the barn are kind of holding, so I don't know, but here they come. They filled the flags back, so... Alright, here's some more coming straight ahead, down the wall. Yeah, CSA are gonna not really reinforce that and top of the hills turns down. I mean, CSA, their their position in this match is it's getting worse, but they could still win the game. They just gotta win one charge once Union goes down to breaking. Uh, and they'll probably be halfway through breaking. Uh, if pace continues, if not three fourths of the way through breaking. Something I'd like to see is a charge from like Union far left side like they only got one small group holding this area I wonder if if they send their whole army this way they could get a hold well we go I told you my favorite map last match what is your favorite map in the War of Rights game. It used to be Rivers Crossing, but now CSA can't win it, so it's not my favorite anymore. Um, in theory, Burnsides would be my favorite, just because I, I just like kind of fort maps in a sense. Um, yeah. Where everyone's just kind of bunched up and have to... Union Artillery just shot right through their <laughs> oh my friendlies and killed them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but it's Burnside Bridge in theory. Because unlike Rivers Crossing, the attackers can win that game. And the yeah. thing is, my, my only complaint is CSA doesn't really try to defend the bridge, which is my favorite part, is CSA trying to defend the bridge. Um, but yeah, it's definitely Burnside's bridge. I'm glad they don't. It annoys the shit out of me <laughs> if they fucking own the bridge. It's like, 
the bridge is the one place the CSA can have somewhat of a good defense on that map. Because once Union gets across the bridge with their whole team and their flags, it's really hard to force them out. Yeah. That's why I hate a uh, public match on Birdsage Bridge, because they hold the actual bridge, and I just keep on dying. <laughs> so... And uh, the 24-hour thing, it was uh, one of the first matches. I was, it was after the Dunker Church I did artillery. did Burnside's artillery. And the whole match, I just rolled guns around the map in caissons. Good shot from artillery. I didn't even, like, shoot a gun. I just rolled things around. And by the end of the match, our team was losing so bad that we just plugged the bridge with a caisson and a cannon. Um, I would have uninstalled the game. It was it was so funny. It had no effect whatsoever. One person got stopped by it, but <laughs> hey, but the XP though. That's so true. I can't complain. I went from like teetering at the edge of 35 to 36 um, to like a third of the way through 38 for 24 hours, which um. Ceasefire. Ceasefire. Yeah, I got all the way up to 56 in 24 hours. Oh, CSA is charging. Very organized this time. I really like this. They're down half morale stage, about to hit breaking, but if they win this charge, they could hit Union to break and cap and win. Union not together yep. either. Good volley from not the a, There's not a lot of CSA in the woods either, so this is the main force. This is, but they're charging the hill again. I don't understand. Unions stop charging the hill. Just stay down there. Unlike last Hold. time, unions charging down the hill and not focusing on the guys on the hill. So you CSA, oh CSA might win the game right here. Union's about to hit breaking. Okay, yeah. CSA yeah, should yeah, run yeah, down yeah. to the point right now. These groups on the side next to the brown cabin and stuff needs to move. Yeah, those union groups, I don't, they should not be staying there. Oh, some CSA charging out of the woods, uh, they're going to die, but if anything, they might hit union to break. And CSA needs to be on point capping this right now. Don't I think most of the union just the needs to spawn main and just charge down the road. Union's at breaking. All right, Union at the, the little brown house are starting to turn around. CSA running down from the hill, now going to the point. Union on top of the hill, getting bayonets and reloads. Um, they're starting to turn down, but I think it's going to be too late. Yeah, Bodusha just needs to charge in. Why is there still Union on the hill? Fuck it, go down! What are y'all doing? Y'all about to lose! Oh, they somehow hold it. A lot of Union oh my God. That are on Oh, CSA respawns are <laughs> pouring in. What the hell? We get very lucky there. That is incredible. What the... And Union are gonna hold this. Wow. Barry's the last minute charge worked out. That's crazy. TSA looks like they're. Jersey, rally, rally, rally. CSA is moving up the hill now. Uh, trying to get to the snake off fence. We got Patrick moving up the hill to engage with the 8th Connecticut. I don't like 7th LA doing this. Actually, it's a mix of groups. First, Ohio's there. I don't like this. CSA's teetering on the final push. You don't really want to start that yet. Well, I heard I heard the commander. I don't know who exactly it was, but 
He was saying that all of them was on point, so they're trying to get up the hill before the Union got back up, but they only had, they only had, they only had eight guys, so I don't know how much they would have done, but I get the process, I guess. Jump over the stone wall. If the sea, if the Union artillery just fucking blast a shot behind that barn right there, that'd be that'd be a great shot. They've been kind of hitting those shots uh, throughout the match, seen one or two of them. But here comes CSA respawns coming out of Maine. Here's my brother at the barn, just standing there. What uh? I mean, numbers are fairly even. Union having 16 on artillery, so um, it's definitely defendable. We've seen them hold charges throughout most of the match, so artillery seem to be doing pretty well this match. I would say so. CSA holding back first LED starting to take shots up the hill. Right, jersey to the barn. If this is the CSA strategy, I don't jersey. know. Gallop, gallop to the barn, whatever the fuck. We got a bunch of Union solos near the barn. Is this 65th? No. It's a mix. It's Major General Irish himself. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is not smart at all. You have... See... If this game is still, both sides can still win, because even though Union's up by half a morale well, stage, This is a lot of CSA. They're about to charge in here. This yeah. is going to look glorious. Here even, they come. Even though Union's up by a little bit of tickets, the thing is, CSA will be in final push for a while. So Union can't, needs to not lose these. Oh my oh, goodness. My I think I got a screenshot of that. That's a thumbnail. Anyways, um... Great artillery time. A lot that of was CSA great. <laughs> and the Union is off in the hill. We see how many people they have, so I think the Union needs to start moving their way down. Yeah, they should have been doing this a while ago. Artillery shot ricocheting off the wall and exploding in the middle of the air. Why is Union not going to the bottom of the hill? Why would you let the CSA get a foothold on the bottom? Here they come. They're charging now, so I think they still got a chance. They definitely do. CS is going to final push. Union from the side from MWB. Points going back in Union's favor. Uh, yeah, it's, it's looking Flag. like Union's going to win. Good Union charge. flags are staying back for the respawns. Good job. And the Union got it. They held. Good job. Nearly all the CSA flags are down. One just got picked up. Another. But Union cannot. Union needs to avoid any losses right now. I wonder if they're. Yeah. They're just going to charge the orchard. There's no time. So. I mean, in the next charge, Union's going to go down to the last stand. So, yes, he still has plenty of time to win this. Plenty. Because they still got two, I think, decent charges in them. Obviously, it'll be a lot more spread no, out, but... Good. Good. That's what's yeah, they're going in piecemeal. There's this big group, first wave, and then they got the second wave right behind them. So, let's see. If they're going in piecemeal like this, um... Yeah, I think Union got this. There's no way. I like the 20th Georgia kind of going to the right side. Uh, they're gonna, instead of going directly at the wall, they're gonna go around the side. You have Union coming out of the barn, too, with those two flags. They're now rushing in first LED, mostly from the barn. CSA picking up a third flag. 50 seconds. 
think so, you did. I like your bitch, Somehow still not last stand. I see one CSA flag up. And they hit last stand. Yeah, There's last stand. Union's gonna win this. Union, if you die, you die forever. So make every last life count. Flags are useless. So if they are down, keep them down. Anyways, uh, you got any thoughts for this round, Coffin? Uh, they had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> but I think the second half, we we got back up and we we held. So good job, Union, for holding and uh, winning a 2-0 match tonight. So good job. Yeah, very good job on part of the Union. Very scary, though. They almost lost that game, uh, moving way too late. Uh, down to the point, but hey, they clutched it up in time. A good 2-0 win, capping the point. That was really when the tides changed because after that cap, CSA really was just losing a lot of tickets for no reason, a lot of groups going in on their own. Um, but still, two great matches tonight. Thank you, Coffin, for coming on. Thank you, Twist on Snow Cactus, for the Frontline Reporter in-game views. But besides all of that, Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the channel more, we have a Patreon where you can get live streams of all the broadcasts we do. You can advertise your regiment on the bottom of our videos and get raw gameplay footage of everything we cover with no commentary and UI. But besides that, we got Discord and merch as well. And with that all being said, thank you, Coffin, again, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your night. We will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.